Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where I like to cook for you and do grocery hauls. Now today, I am going to be taking one of my favorite ways of cooking in the kitchen, the crock pot, and I'm going to keep things simple, easy, and delicious today using five ingredients. Now, using a crock pot in this summer heat is the way to go. Throw everything into it, and at the end of the day, you have an amazing dinner. All right, y'all, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. If you're a subscriber, I wanna thank you for coming back for another show. All right, y'all, let's get started. All right, so today we're gonna to be making a sausage potato casserole in the crock pot. Now, to start with, I've sprayed the inside of my crock pot here with just some cooking spray. You can use the bags also. Now, I don't like to use the bags because it just, all the sauces and stuff that you usually cook with get into the crevices of the bags and it's hard to get out of and so you lose a lot of that. Now, potato sausage. The first thing we're gonna put in is our potatoes. Now, I've got shredded hash brown potatoes and I'm using a 30 ounce bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that all in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just break up any big pieces that are in here. Alright, next thing we're going to add, one can of cheddar cheese soup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, ingredient number two right here. I'm going to wiggle that on out of there. Mmm, smells good. All right, my next ingredient is a whole can of evaporated milk. Now, I'm just using one of these openers here, big end right there, and then just a little end here. Now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pour it into my soup can here, just to get kind of some of that cheesy goodness out of there. I'm going to take a spoon and carefully just stir it up. So we can get all of that goodness out of there. We don't want to leave it behind. All right, so I'm going to add that. And the rest of it. Mmm, look at that milk. Yeah. Mmm. It's going to add such another delicious layer of flavor in there. There we go. Just like that. All right, now I've got a seasoning blend here of salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm just going to pour that all over the top of my mixture here. Now, this is the fourth ingredient, seasonings. All right, so go ahead now and give this a mix carefully. Oh, y'all season it well. That's your flavor. Couldn't be any simpler, huh? Look at that. All right, am I getting the side there? All right, so far so good. Now we're gonna go ahead now and prepare our sausage to go in. All right, for the sausage, I am using this roasted garlic chicken smoked sausage. Now you can use any kind of sausage link you like. I mean, there's beef flavored, there's turkey flavored, there's uh, kielbasa, Polish sausage, you know, it's up to you. Once we found out about chicken, the roasted garlic chicken, oh, it's so good. We like to cook it in a lot of different things. All right, so I'm going to open this package here. I'm going to be putting in one and a half packages. We got that one opened. And all right, all I like to do now is just slice these into disc, just like that, about a quarter of an inch. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this one inside of my crock pot here. All right, I'm just going to do half more. We like leftovers in the refrigerator and um, especially taking it to work 
coming home and reheating. And this is a really perfect dish for that. So I'm just going to cut half of that. Hey, let me know down below what your favorite sausage links are. I, you know, when you say five ingredient casserole in the crock pot, who can beat that, right? Oh, that's it. So simple, so easy, and I'm betting you're gonna know it's gonna be delicious too. Okay, so I've got all of my sausage cut up into disc here, going inside of my crock pot. We're gonna give that a nice big mix. Make sure it's all mixed together. It's gonna make a nice sauce in there too. There we go. I'm gonna put a lid on this. Gonna even it out there a little bit. All right, there we go, right there. Got my lid on my crock pot here. We're gonna put it on high for three hours or low for five hours. And y'all remember, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it has been three hours on high for this dish. I cannot wait another minute. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take the lid off so we can see what's going on in here. Mm, oh my gosh, it's ready for a plate. <laughs> okay, y'all, can y'all see this? Look at the potatoes, the hash browns, that creamy cheese. It was actually cheddar cheese soup that went in here and evaporated milk and then the sausage that I put in there. Oh my gosh. Let's get some of that sausage right there, y'all. Let's put it on a plate. There's my plate right there decorated with a little bit of chopped parsley. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna go in with some of the potato first that creamy, cheesy potatoes, hash browns. Mm. They're seasoned so well. Plus, I can still taste the little pieces of hash brown in there, so it didn't kind of like mush and go away, right? It kept its shape, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can taste all the little individual pieces of hash brown. All right. Let's go in with the sausage now. Mmm. Mmm, so good. And I use that garlic, roasted garlic chicken sausage. So that's really good. All right, y'all, bring out your crock pot. Five simple ingredients, three hours on high or five hours on low, and start your Saturday good. All right, y'all. Give me a comment down below, thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. You'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, I will see you on the next episode.